Yo, what's going on, everybody? Today, I'm going to talk about my experience slash first impressions of the Vazen 40mm anamorphic lens. Now, this lens isn't mine. I rented it from Lens Rentals, and I can say the experience with renting things is pretty solid. I love renting from them and I plan on renting from them more again later in the future. So my first impressions when I first got the lens in the mail was holy crap this thing is big and heavy which I kind of expected. I have this vintage anamorphic lens that I'm putting together. This thing's five pounds and the Vazen one's three pounds so it's a pound lighter something or so a pound and a half I don't know I can't do math. Yeah, and actually the Vazen is just a little taller than this one, so. Now the build quality on the lens was super solid. The only thing that was plastic was the back lens cap. And I think just because mine was rental and it's been used before, the back lens cap I found kept falling off, like, a, like easily. So, but I think that's just because it was a rental. So I feel like if it's brand new, the lens cap will just stay on there a lot more sturdy instead of it just falling off all the time but the front lens cap it was on there it was hard to take off but I'd rather have it be more difficult to take off than like a photography lens where if you just like kind of push it it flies off so because at least I know in my bag it like when I'm carrying it around stuff like that it's not gonna just fall off randomly and scratch the glass element and that glass element is really nice as well Everything about the lens is just super solid. You gotta remember the price tag. The price tag rolls around $3,250. Now, that is expensive still. Not as expensive as most anamorphic lenses out there. For example, there's one out there that I think is like $94,000 for one single lens. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. And that's talking about like Atlas or Ryan, or like, you know, those really high-end anamorphic lenses but the Vazen anamorphic you can pick up from a from the site and it will ship to you like within five days so I've heard now is it worth that almost four thousand dollar price tag short answer yes it is the build quality like I said it's super solid and the user the user experience of that lens was just the best now it is it's recommended to use a built-out rig for that camera, uh, or for that lens. I personally don't have a full rig yet, but I was u mostly going handheld, so it still had support on it. But, um, yeah, no, just, just build a rig out first. It is Micro Four Thirds um, standard. They do have a full frame one, but Micro Four Thirds mounts are like that big. So that's a lot of weight on the front of a lens mount. Now, in the back of my mind, I was like, dude, what if this lens just snaps off my Z cam? But I, that won't happen. Now, usually when you buy an anamorphic lens, you gotta like wait around like a year or so until it actually gets shipped out to you. They do sell, there's a company out there that's called like Sure. And they set, and they actually make anamorphic lenses for like six nine nine to seven ninety nine, which is a steal to be honest. But for me personally, they don't give me that anamorphic look that I'm going for. For example, I like the two times anamorphic look, which is what this lens is. This one is a two times anamorphic lens, but the one but the Vazen was a one point eight times one point eight three, something like that, and um, it gave me near the two times look and I just love the way the vase and lenses look all the characteristics even the imperfections of the the imperfections of the images like just made it that better surprisingly like yes there's a little bit more of a the Z cam and the anamorphic lens are honestly a match made in heaven they just work so well together, especially since the Z cam has anamorphic support. And I was shooting on my Z cam U2C, and it has a 1.8 times D squeeze, which is perfect. It literally has all the D squeezing you need for it. So, like, literally, you can get that 
you can get that 1.3 look all the way to a two times look and even vertically you can get that look so shooting anamorphic vertically is going to be a game changer for sure especially if you want to stand out from the crowd on social media such as instagram yeah i just sent the lens back so i don't have it on me currently but i do have some photos i'm gonna throw into the video so yeah so my experience with the lens like i said it's heavy so expect that shooting with it was fun the focus throw on it is huge like it's a huge focus though. You cannot get super close to the sub to your subjects. You can't be here on your subjects like you usually can. Or even closer. You gotta be like about here most of the times. So yeah, if that if that bothers you, then don't buy the lens. If it doesn't, then buy the lens, I guess. Or rent it. Which I recommend you rent it out before you buy it. Just in case you decide, oh I don't actually want the lens and now you're not stuck with your $3,000 lens instead of just renting it and be like oh yeah I don't like this lens you can just send it back so but yeah I think I covered everything I wanted to in this video like I said this is not a full review it's just my experience with the lens and my thoughts I do plan on buying it soon so then I can actually do a full review because I do not think eight days is long enough to get a full review out of it so yeah Anyways, hope you guys have a good day, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.